Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com for premium picks. And note that we don't charge for premium picks. It's actually on a donation basis. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Also, look us up on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Now, as longtime viewers here on YouTube know, I'm a strong advocate of hedge betting. Right? My goal is to be on both sides of the play. The way that's possible is by playing time. Right? In other words, I'll hedge a futures play on a long shot underdog with a series play for the eventual winner of the series, right? Um, let's look at basketball and let's go through it. Right now, I believe the Chicago Bulls are one of the strongest teams in the East, right? I expect the Chicago Bulls to beat the Washington Wizards. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to put money on the Wizards too, right? Understand the Wizards right now in the futures market are a 150 to 1 long shot to win the NBA title. Now since I don't expect the Wizards to win in the first round, I wouldn't be betting on that prop with the expectation of winning that bet. No. All I'm trying to do is to take a position at 150 to 1 to partially ensure my real bet. So if my real bet goes south, if the Wizards actually get out of the first round in advance, I still have leverage to play with in future rounds. Right? The possibility, as remote as it might be, of winning my futures bet, I'm still in play with the Wizards at a cheap price of $1. Let's say I bet one dollar to win a hundred and fifty. So let's look at the first round. The series price. And right now you want to look at series prices because understand it's harder to beat the better team in a best of seven series. Right? In football, a favorite might have an off night. In basketball, that favorite would have to have four off nights to lose the series, right? So right now, incredibly, the Chicago Bulls, I believe, one of the better teams in basketball, certainly one of the best coaches in basketball, right? The Chicago Bulls are only a minus 190 to beat the Washington Wizards in the series. A minus 190. In other words, if you bet $30, you would actually win a little bit more than 50%. You would win $15 and something like 29 cents or thereabouts. Well, think about it. That's a good play. So the hedge I'm recommending, for those of you who want to do the math and play games and figure out the numbers, is that you bet $1 on the Washington Wizards to win the NBA championship just as a hedge. Right, it's one dollar to win, a hundred and fifty dollars in profit plus your one dollar back. Right, huge leverage. Right, for a team, ironically, that's the five seed in the East. Bet one dollar to win a hundred and fifty in profit on the Washington Wizards. Right, to win the NBA championship. The other side of the play is the real play. Right, that one dollar is just a hedge. The real play is to bet $30 or whatever your risk tolerance allows. Right? I'm going to pick the number 30 for a reason here. It's to bet $30 on the Bulls. Right? With the hope of winning a little bit better than a 50% return. $15 and change in profit. Right? Minus the $1 on the other side so you would net fourteen dollars 
and change in profit, right? You really, the real bet is $30 to win $14 and change in profit. Here's why the hedge is important. There's a reason why the bulls are really a little bit less than a minus 200 favorite. It's because the wizards are young and athletic. So let's say lightning strikes. Let's say the bulls lose the series. And again, that would take four wins by the Wizards, right? They would have to have a period of sustained superiority to win a series. But let's say the Wizards win the series. I'm out of pocket the $30 that I've bet on the Bulls. But the 150 leverage, keep in mind I got 150 to 1 odds on the Wizards, that would still be in play. Their next opponent likely would be the one seed, the Indiana Pacers, who I expect to beat the Atlanta Hawks. Well, my point is this. If the Indiana Pacers face the Wizards in the second round of the playoffs, I can then turn around and bet $40 on the Pacers to win that series or more. Let's say the Pacers are favored. I can bet $80 to win that series, right? As long as I win back $30 on that series price, then I've broken even, right? The hedge actually gives me an extra bite at the apple, right? Let's think it through further. Let's say the Pacers, who have been stumbling, really are that bad. And let's say the Atlanta Hawks, the eighth seed, actually beats the Pacers in the first round. I don't see it happening, but if it does happen, understand that Washington, a team you got at 150 to one odds, would actually have home court advantage in the second round. They would actually be favored in that series. Think about it. If I were to take Atlanta, in that series, a second round series, I would be getting further leverage from the casino because Washington, the fifth seed, would be favored over the eighth seed. The casino would be giving me better than even money to take the Hawks in the second round against a team I've already gotten 150 to one odds on. So understand the premise of hedge betting. It's, or what I call hedge betting, it's simply to take positions that'll help you bet more on the teams you really want to bet on, right? Without some form of insurance, I might not be willing to take the Bulls at minus 190 to beat the Wizards. But if you're going to tell me that I can actually do that and get 150 to 1 odds on the other team just in case disaster strikes. If you're telling me that I could bet on the Bulls and actually have some imperfect insurance, at least it's some insurance on the play courtesy of the casino, why wouldn't I do that? Isn't this the very reason why people have insurance? right? Car insurance. You don't expect to crash, but if you crash, well, it's good to know that you're in good hands, right? I mean, isn't that the way it goes? So here, that's all a hedge is. I don't want people writing me saying, why do you think the Wizards will win it all? I don't. I don't even think the Wizards win the first series, but the bet I'm recommending is that you take the Bulls at minus 190 to beat the Wizards in the series price, right? Series bet. That's one part of the bet. The other part of the bet is that you put some small amount down at 150 to 1 odds to win the NBA title on the Washington Wizards, right? Don't fool around with the Wizards just to win the Eastern Conference. You want longer odds than that. You want the NBA title because the point is 
your only purpose in putting money on the Wizards would be to get as much leverage as possible because that's just a hedge position. So take a look at it. The 150 to 1 is outsized, especially for a 5 seed. And I think the Bulls, quite frankly, should win the series. You'll be laughing all the way to the bank if the Bulls win the series. And you realize that you've only paid a dollar in insurance and you've netted $14, right, off of a $31 outlay. That's not a bad rate of return, especially when you were on both sides of the play. I like the Bulls to beat the Wizards at minus 190 on a series price hedged with the Wizards to win the NBA championship at 150 to 1. Do the math. Give it a look. Let us know what hedges you have in mind or what plays you think will beat the casino in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.